experts also joining in here uh, on this uh, development. Uh, uh, these are the latest visuals on your screens right now. And we have uh, Srijan uh, Pal Singh, who is the founder of Kalam Center and CEO of uh, Homi Lab. He's a senior scientist. And uh, Professor Selva Murthy, former DG DRDO, is also live on the broadcast here at Republic TV. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us. Uh, this, of course, is uh, of course a very, very important development that has come in uh, to you first, Prof Professor Selva Murthy. A historic milestone. There, images uh, are there on our screens, uh, captured by the lander module. Tell us how big this is and uh, what a boost this is for India's moon mission. The whole world is now looking towards India, not only the scientific fraternity, the common man. And so the excitement which we have to see these pictures coming from the moon, it is a really great achievement for India, the Indian Space Research Organization. And they are very, very confident that the so far the sojourn from Earth to the lunar orbit has gone very well. And all the systems, subsystems, and the payloads, every system, every component of this Chandrayaan-3 mission is in a very good, healthy condition. And we are very hopeful that what we could not achieve in Chandrayaan-2, this time we will achieve it 100% successfully. And, uh, uh, and also we will have a lot of scientific activities done after landing, the rover coming out, and the lander also having the payloads and Arbiter, which we have right now, giving the pictures, so uh, and uh, also the propulsion module. So all this is going to be an exciting moment for the uh, country. And we will be one among those uh, four countries who would be joining this elite club of landing on the southern part of the moon, which is very close now, five days from now. And we will be landing on the very difficult part of the moon, which is the southern part and where uh, the craters and the conditions uh, uh, of those the environment is very harsh and challenging, but I'm sure with the reliability of these technologies and the scientific acumen of the Indian Space Research Organization scientists and all the collaborators, partners, including the DRU and other agencies, academia, industry, together, I can confidently say as a scientist, that we will be able to achieve the success which we are longing for in the next five uh, five days. We will be uh, able to achieve this. And this is a beautiful, very clear picture which we are uh, getting. So that indicates the payloads, including the images which are coming out, the resolutions. And we have to do a lot of uh, analysis of these images which is coming up. And the ISRO scientists will be uh, uh, the gathering all this knowledge which is being sent from the moon but then they will do the lot of analysis come out with many many new innovations inventions right. and discoveries from this particular effort that ISRO is making today so it's a great moment and I'm very confident Absolutely. that this mission will be very very successful because all that technologies which are involved like propulsion control guidance navigation payload integration, payload separation, all these have been proven. So there's also a technology revalidation, which we did in Chandrayaan 2, which has gone very well, the computation. Now it is only the last part of the landing on the southern part of the moon has to go as we have planned in its row. And I'm sure the, uh, the this time we will succeed. I'm very, very confident. Not only India, but the whole world is looking towards Indian science, Indian technology. Mm. So this is happening at a time when we are celebrating the Azadika Amrut Mahotsav we just completed, and we are still in celebration mode. And also right. it is the uh, Amrit Kal. We have entered into Amrit Kal. So this is going to be an exciting accomplishment in the beginning of the Amrit Kal, which should set the motivation, inspiration for all our people, including children who are excited to see the soft landing on the moon. So the children will be excited. Many of them will become the scientists and technologists. So this is a great moment, which uh, we are all looking for. And uh, this is also not only to prove our technology, but the industry capability will grow because there'll be a lot of uh, the industries which will be coming in. It will opening the space tourism. So there is immense potentials of this investment which the government of India is making today. 
So the whole support which the government is providing, including the prime minister, the science and technology minister, and all the policies, patronage given to the government is also helping ISRO to achieve many, many accomplishments. So we should thank with gratitude all those who are connected with this, the would be successful outcome of this Chandrayaan mission three. Thank you. Absolutely, sir, of course. Uh... We will come to you uh, on uh, more on the part of space tourism as well and how uh, you know India can move towards that uh, very soon. But uh, going across to you uh, uh, here, because there's some latest uh, uh, alerts that we are getting in right now. And there is, of course, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a statement from ISRO. Shijan Pal Singh, uh, th this is uh, something called under boosting that has happened. That is the latest we have from uh, uh, from the uh, from the from the ISRO, uh, that is the latest we have. That uh, the the it has uh, underwent deboosting. So the deboosting operation is successful, and of course there will be a second deboosting as well. Tell us more. Tell our viewers more about what really is deboosting and how important is this? All right. See, uh, we started from Earth last month and we reached Moon. We uh, we were initially at a height of a few thousand kilometers cir circuit circling around the moon in orbit. That orbit has to be brought down, and it has to be brought down now to a range of 30 kilometers by 100 kilometers. So 100 kilometers at its highest point and 30 kilometers at its nearest point to the moon. And this started from thousands of kilometers. So you have to, to keep reducing the orbit this process is done by something called deboosting, which means you keep reducing the speed of this rocket system. The propulsion module was initially there. Now it's no longer there. So it's just the lander module out there. And you keep reducing the speed. And as you keep reducing the speed, the orbits start coming down and down and down and lesser. So you, it's a process of reducing the speed, which leads to the reduction of the orbit. Eventually, when it reaches 30 kilometers of height from the moon, you will start the process of actually landing. Now, this process is called the, it's also called the 15 minutes of terror. Now, this is the time at which the, this entire system, the Vikram lander, from 6,000 kilometers of almost horizontal speed will start falling down and it will keep adding its vertical speed. And then you'll have to, again, keep deboosting and you'll keep reducing the speed. So the rocket, the lander eventually lands at about 10 kilometers per second. That is the landing speed you need to bring out. So deboosting is essentially an act of reducing speed by using thrusters, the same kind of thrusters, smaller ones, of course. Uh, and you, as you keep reducing the speed, the orbit keeps reducing. Eventually, the moon's gravity will get the better hold of the system and start and the system will start falling, but even the fall has to be deboosted. The speed has to be controlled, kept reduced, reducing to the extent that it's a safe landing process. Once you do that, it's called a soft landing. And once a soft landing will happen in a few days, we will have a Pragyan rover coming out of it. All right. So that's the latest we have, reviewers. Uh, the lander module health is normal. That is what uh, ISRO is saying, that the lander module successfully underwent a uh, deboosting operation that reduced its orbit to 113 kilometers by 157 kilometers. And second deboosting is scheduled for 20th of August 2023. So uh, that is the latest we have. And uh, and uh, all right, so that is, uh, that's that's all we could wrap up in this segment on Chandrayaan. Uh, thank you so much, uh, gentlemen, Mr. Srijan, and also, uh, also of course, uh, for your uh, for your uh, great uh, uh, thoughts that you've shared with us, Professor Selva Murthy, and of course, the vision for India's space mission, and of course, uh, the Amrit Kal is of course on track. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining us here at Republic TV.